reaction? When Jeff was a senior in 2004, I was working, I was a sophomore, and I was working in the school of theater, and <laughs> I was just chatting with him, and I was like, so what are you going to do when you graduate? And he was like, I'm going to go home, live in my mom's basement, and make a million dollars for my movie. And I turned around and I looked at him and I was like, good luck, you know? Stand off over here. Yeah. Essentially what Relative Obscurity is, is a ensemble drama about seven students as they're struggling to figure out what they want to do. They're on the verge of graduation. The story begins with their freshman year of college and then moves on to their senior year. Some of them kind of lose their way along that journey and some of them, you know, figure out what they want to be. They figure out who they are and uh, they figure out who their friends are. So. Um, it's, it's a character piece. It would be something that Steve would do, is what I'm saying. Would do what? Walk against the grain of the belt, that's what I was saying. John Swartz, the producer, was able to bring together just a phenomenal crew. With professionals coming in, um, everyone, all the students working on it, n you know, knew that we were expecting professional, professionalism from them as well, and, uh, and we got it. We have a pretty tight-knit group, like our group of best friends are also the group of people that make the movies. Uh, each one of us uh, has a very specific goal um, in the field. I've served as the casting director for Partycom for the past couple of productions. Devin can shoot it, Jeff can direct, all these people can do their parts. My job title on Relative Obscurity was I was a second assistant camera. They did most of the casting out in LA. I would have tapes fully labeled and ready to be loaded. My part is post-production. I mean, we have the stuff in Steve's apartment, we have Kobe sitting in the airport, we have Claire at the computer. Zoe's dialogue is the longest during this part of the montage. We have two shots for this. I think we can definitely play with stuff. I mean, there's obvious reasons behind having certain, visuals certain lines, lines in certain places. Right, no, I know. When I came on board, they asked me to handle a bit parts and extras. Make sure batteries were always charging. I've set up the audition process and um, recruited actors. I play Steve Savio who's the student senate president. It was a great experience working with students and professionals because you know, we got to you know, see some really experienced people coming in and see that we were on the right track, know, knowing that you know, the work we've been doing for a while is the same that they're doing out in Los Angeles and in New York on these independent films. My playwriting background was extremely crucial. Particularly the idea for the movie was um, birthed through a class with Dr. Esiaba Irobi. My name is it's Yaba Irobi, but my students call me the good doctor. Who actually opens the movie, and he was the one who presented me with the quote that uh, each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission, betray or fulfill it. So, I'm really very excited to introduce you to the hottest, the sexiest, the most provocative cause that's happening on this campus this semester. What I was able to bring to the table was the process of telling stories and the process of being able to arc a narrative and that particularly was, I think, I, I would never be able to do that without the playwriting program. AVW, which is Athens Video Works, um, prepared me for the, for the production part of the process and how stressful that can be. It's like an opportunity to, for trial and error on things and for, for students to learn from other students. At one point, I think in seven consecutive quarters, I had like seven different playwriting professors who were professional playwrights from New York City. The biggest help that OU has been to me um, has been the networking and been finding the group of people that I've found. It's the out-of-class uh, productions that you start making connections with other people. Which is something I don't think I would have gotten in other places. That's what's great about TCOM is everyone helps each other out. Everything I wanted to learn in my last, you know, my last year at OU, and I, I was able to do it um, through experience. It really taught me, and I think everyone else, how to be compassionate in situations that are stressful and how to be tolerant of people and, you know, how to get things done when we need to get them done in the time that we have without, you know, killing each other. <laughs> I had to learn, you know, how to work with unions. I had to learn how to, learn how to talk to agents. I had to learn how to do production finances for, you know, full-scale feature production. Relative obscurity gave me the confidence that I kind of had something that I couldn't, I had something under my belt now that I couldn't get from just 
going to s some film school or going to another university. I, I worked on an actual independent uh, movie. Just being out of college about a year and a half, um, I've already used so many of the things that I've learned here. I've already stayed close with so many of the friends that I've made here. I'll be leaving college knowing that you know I pretty much did everything I possibly could um, in the time that I had here and uh, it's it's really satisfying to know that. I, I'm big on on steps, on taking steps and building from where you went. I know now that I want to go into casting. I, that would be a dream for me to do what Jeff accomplished and what John accomplished, what everyone accomplished. Now I know that's where I need to be and where I want to be. Um, and I think relative to that thing. I'm just going to try and go out to Los Angeles as prepared as possible and um, meet up with all my contacts and see what I can find. If Relative does well, uh, hopefully it'll allow us to continue to work in the exact same fashion that we have, just on a greater scale and in a different location. Hopefully 20 years from now I'll be sitting in a similar chair in a nicer office with Spencer behind me cutting something shot on 35mm film.